Hi, I'm Rob Jones. I'm an interventional radiologist from Birmingham in the United Kingdom. I'm here this week at the PVI meeting in Paris. Um, we've just done a session um, on complex cases uh, relating to surgical fistulas and also endo-AVS. And my case was one of a complex re-intervention on a wavelength fistula. Um, following creation, we'd created that um, fistula five years previous and the patient had had five years worth of dialysis without any um, need for re-interventions. However, at five years, he required a um, angioplasty of his perforator vessel, which is a common area um, of stenosis and failure of endo-ABS. Um, that was resistant to balloon angioplasty, so we required the use of a, um, a stent graft. We used a Viabon covered stent to treat the um, perforator stenosis. And that's lasted another three years without um, need for reintervention. So I think key messages um, in terms of um, endo AVF um, reintervention is that the perforator stenosis and the deep vein stenosis next to the anastomosis is quite a common area for uh, endo AVF failure. And I think in the future, um, we'll be using stents uh, or covered stents in that area more commonly because this stenosis is usually um, quite resistant to balloon angioplasty. So I think the key message is um, have a low threshold for considering a covered stent in the perforator um, of an endo-AVF um, when you're carrying out your re-interventions. Thank you. Okay.